I view my students somewhere between my kids and my friends. I'm John Milhan. I am in the Department of Biology and Chemistry, and I've been here for five years. I came to Azusa Pacific in the early 80s as a student. I met Dr. Scott Kinnis, and uh, we hit it off right away. He became a mentor, and in fact is still at Azusa Pacific today as, as a faculty member. John's first science class at APU was the first science class I taught at APU. So we go back quite a ways. Uh, we were a much smaller department back then, and um, it was possible to have the entire department over to the house for Bible studies and parties, and John was very good about attending any place where there was free food, so we, we uh, made that connection also. So one of the most amazing things to me is that I'm now back at Azusa Pacific as a faculty member working with Dr. Kinnis and uh, teaching with him. And ethidium bromide is a mutagenic substance that will bind to DNA. Students who come in here take the first, I would say, four semesters kind of together as biology majors. So we, we kind of instantly build this community amongst incoming classes. Students are required to have an advising appointment before they register for class. So that means that every student has to have a 20-minute appointment with a faculty member before they can sign up for classes. Okay, that means that, that you end up getting face-to-face um, -face contact. How's your life going? How, how are your classes this semester? You know, where do you want to go in the next uh, couple semesters? And you know, do you want to study abroad? Do you want to go on a missions trip? And, and uh, so we kind of get put in the position of getting to mentor um, you know, formally because that's the way the university is set up. I invite all of my classes over for dinner. You get to know them over a period of time and, and because your work is focused around them and getting them into graduate schools and getting them into medical school, you become kind of a big fan of theirs. Russ Burr came here uh, four years ago um, from Oregon and I, I think he, when he came he um, knew what he was getting himself into but it was a long way from home. It was my plan coming in to, to do pre-med and to do whatever it took to get into medical school. My experience in this smaller environment has really changed the way, it's changed a lot of the way I look at things and it's changed the way that I've learned and I think I've probably learned more outside the classroom than I have in. I've had the amazing opportunity to go and work with seven other students in Calcutta, India for a month over the summer after my second year. But then on top of that, there's, you know, I've had research opportunities off campus as well as on campus. Um, I've worked with Dr. Milhan in his research lab. I worked at City of Hope Cancer Center for two summers and I'm working there now and working on publishing a paper and these are opportunities that most undergraduates don't get because you get swallowed up in such a big environment. Um, to be able to write letters and say, hey, I've known Russ for three years as his advisor his research mentor and uh, faculty in for three of his classes. And that's why people choose places like this. Now is the time when we see uh, this graduating class telling us where they're getting into school and what they're doing with their lives. Um, and we keep a, a grease board uh, in the uh, office of students' names and where they've gotten into school, and the board's full. And it's uh, incredible to see um, not just so-and-so got into school here, but so-and-so got into these six schools. Our goal is developing and mentoring and training the best students from a Christian worldview that we possibly can. We'd love to see them graduate and love their jobs and take a Christian worldview with them and kind of impact their field, whether it's teaching or medicine or whatever. I just like to see them continue to be successful and really impact the world using their career.